Hello YouTube, this is Dragonheart and welcome back to my YouTube channel and this is part 7 I believe of the Aravaki campaign and I think, uh, I remember now, I was going to move this army and attack the Lusitani over here that is exactly what I'm going to do and there we are, the game is lagging a little bit for me at the moment, I don't know why seems rather strange anyway this should be a fairly straightforward battle. I could actually auto resolve this and actually I think I will do that. Uh, let's see what gives us the best. Protective stance. There we are. That's the end of them. Good night Irene. And I'm going to release so I don't get any penalties against me. And this is really weird. I'm getting a very low frame rate at the moment. Don't quite understand why. Okay, so it appears that my frames per second is still running fairly low. I don't quite understand why. Uh, nothing's changed. There's no mods. I removed them because of the graphics settings. And yeah, it's a bit weird. But anyway, we'll try and battle through it as best as we can. This army can probably be fortified in this position here while they replenish. And we have an army up here in forced march. Only five of them though. Nothing to worry about. And I think we can end turn. So we'll try and get this first end turn phase and we'll see how it goes. It's gone awful laggy. I don't quite understand why. And there we are. Actually my frames per second has gone back up now. Ah, there we go, so we can fine again. Again, 60 frames per second. Yeah, we're, okay, we're fine. Let's see how it goes, we're fine though. Right, so this is my army in forced march. I don't want to be in forced march now. Now that we are near Lugos, we can attack Lugos right now, which I think I'll probably do. So let's just quickly double check everything before I do that. Fortified here, replenishing, happy with that. This army replenishing as well slightly. I'm going to double check mercenaries as well. Yeah I got mercenaries Scutari there. They're eating up some of my funds so we can get rid of them for now. Ooh let's see. Nothing else there. Same here. Any mercenary units we're gonna disband them all because of my money. I think all the rest are fine in this army. Here they are. This army is replenishing could get some more troops in this army but I'm not going to eat quite yet. Just gonna hold hold up here in the well in the south. I'm actually gonna hold up at this bridge in a fortified stance. Nice defensive uh, capability there I think. We own all of this of course the Celt Iberian Confederation. The Sitani lands will be ours soon and we'll have most of Iberia under our control. Whew. Right, let me just double check. So these are all like us. I could get some trade with these, which might be beneficial, but I may stab them in the back eventually. They are at war with us, Tani, as well, so that's probably why they like me so much. Anyway, let's get to this battle. That's what, we, what we're looking for. And I might just see if I can sabotage. Oh, we can't poison well. That's not good. Okay, we won't bother with that then. This army can strike forward against Lugos and try to take it and there we are we have mercenary Scutari and Cast Casticos their general Iberian tribesmen and Iberian skirmishers so let's go and assault them we heavily outnumber them but I want to show as many siege battles as possible I don't want to keep skipping battles like the one earlier it was worth skipping that because you know it was a straightforward victory for me. This one is, is probably a straightforward victory as well. However, it is a siege battle. I want to show as many of them as possible. The enemy has sallied out to fight me, so it's not a proper siege battle. <laughs> However, we should be victorious, I hope, unless something goes wrong. The Hammer of Helmantic. And we have Rain. Oh my, my, my. I'm going to... Yeah, we'll fight in the rain. Let's have a nice rain battle. 
nice windy, windy weather. First things first, let's, let's get my skirmishers grouped up into a formation. Let's get these grouped up as well. Just gonna group everything up. Like so, nice and easy. Nice and easy. Now let's get this onto explosive round. Get quick reload going as well. This can stay on standard with quick reload. I'm gonna go and control the explosive round. Try and get one or two shots away. S see what we can do. Oh, that's not good. Just short. Oh, but that one was quite good. My oh my oh, where we going? Right, let's try and let's try and go for the general if possible. I think I'm overhit that one a little bit. Oh, only just, only just. Not too bad of an effort. We'll go a little bit shorter this time. Out there. Ah, oh, buggeration. That was that was unfortunate. Okay, we'll go about there. Oh, I'm not doing too well with these, right? We'll give up. I think they're better off doing it without me. Skirmishers can proceed to come forward. And of course we are being outflanked over here, so let's try and stop the advance if possible. Oh, that looks terrible. Oh, we got one horse. Tripped him up. Unlucky to you, good fellow. Oh, that was nice. Excellent. Right. Let's get these onto a quick reload. Get your asses going, men. Noble fighters. Noble fighters. Let's try and advance forward slightly. And let's actually get the little second line up, up as well. While that happens over there, we can try and take some pot shots at the enemy. Which we will do. Let's just charge them in. We outnumber them. No point being afraid, you know what? Let's just charge forward with everything. Let's get the old shooting going. I'm going to try and take another shot of the general. Oh, it looks good. Oh, my, oh, my. How unfortunate that was. About uh, there. Ah. Shameful. There. Yes. Yes. There we go. Blood and death, my specialty. Oh, and me in my overconfidence is obviously. <laughs> We're actually defeating the tribesmen. They're uh, against my ballista crew. My God, my ballista crew is doing well. Well done. Oh, I don't want to lose them. That's right. Nine of them left. Keep them, keep them alive. And my men can just continue to charge. And we've won this one. There we go. Victory. End battle. Decisive victory. A little bit careless with my ballista, but a victory nonetheless. And Lugos is ours. And the battle was done in three minutes. Very pleasing. We can hold this in the north now. And rule as kings in the north. Ooh, stab to the neck. There you go, good fellow. You are now dead. And I want to occupy, of course. Increase in rank is always good. And we can increase. And I'm going to go with cunning. Increase our cunning. Let's get our spy over here as well. To, to look at things for me. This army is going to replenish for a few turns. Uh, Lugos itself is minus 23. It says rebellion in five turns. However, Conquest next turn only is minus 25, so just hold it for a couple of turns and we shall be okay. And we still can recruit the same units here. Not much unit diversity yet, but I need to get more technology first to get better troops. And I'm quite glad that the game is not glitching and lagging like it was earlier. Maybe it's to do with the, the weather effects, I'm not quite sure, but it's fine now. And we're replenishing there. We're going to have quite a bit of money next turn as well, which is good. Do I have any mercenaries in this army? That's what I want to check. Virian, Skitari. Yeah, we're fine. Oh, we've got one. Get rid of that. We don't need that. And I think we're okay there. Now, the next thing is going to be to take 
take uh, Olisipo and I only oh hang on I can actually expand here can't build nothing yet I'll build next turn though and I'll go, probably go with the sacred no I don't need that we can go with the maybe enclosed land for the food anyway we'll end turn we'll decide in the next turn now what we will build there Toletum or Toletum I don't know how to pronounce it correctly but I think it's Toletum and there we are trade agreement dissolved oh okay that's not good and ah oh, that's why <laughs> Ile Cavones are destroyed dread to think who destroyed them it certainly wasn't me right first things first we want to rebuild or build something here now Cory is 900 and that gives us more wealth artisans lodging I've already got a blacksmith though which gives me a ballista which I'm happy with so probably don't need that enclosed land would be useful I guess a garrison plus food so public order what's public order like oh, it's not that's actually zero it could do with an increase so maybe we will go with yeah we'll go with a sacred enclosure for now a slight increase would help Numantia is well defended with my garrison as well and we have 984 to spend now this turn now what I'm gonna do get this army out of its stance we're gonna actually transfer everything to this man over here so we want all of these there we go 17 units we're replenishing it's gonna take three turns so in three turns time this army is gonna be marching on Lusitania over here or Olisipo I need the ballistas because this is of course a wall settlement I can actually build something in Helmantica so I'll we'll have a look at that in a second. Nothing to be scared of though. I think we can take them quite easily. And this general can go back to Tolotum for now. We'll build him up eventually and he can go crazy around the rest of Spain. Helmantica can be upgraded. Only Helmantica. What about my new settlement up here? Lugos could as well. Lugos needs the public order, doesn't it? So we can have a law law master's hut. Gives me food, two for garrison. Get two for garrison with this as well. Five food, two food. Research rate. Research rate's actually good. So I want the research rate. So we're going to go with that. My spy now can come all the way down here. I think. Yeah, he's going to come down there check things out for me just double check all my my armies planishing in Helmantica that's good and diplomacy is what I want to look at next so we own one two three four nice little center I want to take this next got a nice white center across here these like me up here which is good I'm gonna have to take them out soon though they like me down here this is where the problems are gonna lie the Vascones probably be my next target are they allied with anyone the Cantabri who are undiscovered so don't need to worry about that the Illergetes they're at war with so obviously we can take our pick with these I'll go with the Vascones because they actually own more land though and if we just quickly zoom up here this is them by here so they have Salduba and they have a big wall settlement Iruna so they're going to be taken out after we take out this land over here but we're going to end the turn get through another end turn sequence and then I'll probably wrap the episode up before long and to be honest it's been a very good campaign so far I have enjoyed it Okay, let's get this. Get him over here. Maybe I'll take him to take out the Vasconis in the north. Once I get more, more men. Sit here for a couple more turns. Probably leave it. Yeah, two turns. Can actually spend some of this money as well. In a few turns' time. Oh, what's happened? 
Oh, I can't see my screen. Where's my screen? I need overview. Give me my o There we go. <laughs> Little bit of a glitch. Yeah, two turns. These guys are happy to sit and wait. Ballista is going to be important to this uh, this campaign. Once this army gets into Tolatum, we'll start recruiting some ballistas from here. And Valo. Where's my good general? This is my good general, isn't it? Yeah, this is my beastly general. Very beastly indeed. With the War Maiden. We could actually start building up an army here. I think four is enough. So maybe I'll spend the money on on some units. Let's get two skirmishers to begin with then. And wasn't there something I need to build? Maybe it wasn't. Anyway, we'll enter in. And then we'll <laughs> then we'll wrap up the episode. But yeah, I am enjoying this episode an awful this series an awful lot. Uh I do enjoy the main campaign and I don't think anything can beat the grand campaign in Total War but I like these kind of campaigns. I liked it with Napoleon when they, they had the uh, the same map basically, well they had Spain and Portugal. The Peninsula War. Faction destroyed. Oh they destroyed now. Okay. That changes things slightly for me. Right, let's get my spy down here as quickly as possible. There we go. There we go, nicely. Right, what have they got? They got two, five, four, and they have a garrison. I think we can take them out. I'm very confident in my skills, for once. <laughs> but we'll do that in the next episode. What was my, uh, where is it gone? Event meshes, construction, research is wanted. War dance, right, so we got that. Need to put something on now for the next turn. Uh, charge bonus, our morale for all land units, that's going to be good. Attritional losses when under siege, haven't been under siege yet, so that's probably a no go. Don't really need ships at the moment. So, yeah, we'll go with the death in battle. I think that's going to be a good one to go for. But I'm going to end the episode there, so I hope you've all enjoyed. I've been Dragonheart, until next time, goodbye.